Oh. 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 Daylights out of me and him, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's go. How much to get to arcade bus station? Yes, yeah. How much for two? Uh, 90? 50 per person? Okay. I hate bargaining so much. I know it's the culture, but every time I do it, I have this guilty feeling afterward every single time. So because we are traveling at peak season in Chiang Mai, we decided to go buy our bus tickets ahead of time just to guarantee our travel to Chiang Rai. So we went to the arcade bus terminal two days ago to buy our one-way journey to Chiang Rai. It was $3.92 per person, and now we're heading back to actually take the bus to Chiang Rai. It's about a four-hour journey, Out the bus that we've been standing next to for about 20 minutes is our bus. We almost missed it. Got some peanut butter sandwiches for breakfast. Supposedly it's only supposed to take 13 minutes to walk to our hostel, so we're gonna try it out. That bus ride was actually really nice. The AC worked great. Um, comfy seats. Other than the fact that my seat wouldn't stop reclining, it was awesome. So, I feel like I do this every time, but we always walk past our hostel just a little bit. And as we're walking past, I was like, oh, look at how cute this place is. Come to find out it's where we're staying. deal I think it was maybe six or seven dollars a night um, it is definitely one of the nicer hostels we've stayed at especially for the price 
but everyone has their own little privacy curtain. We have one roommate so far, so that's really nice. We have this separate little room here. I'll be sleeping here. Brayden will be sleeping here. We have a patio. Like, I'm sorry, what? Who does that in a hostel? Look, I have my own hanger inside, a little table, two plugs. I, this is luxury, man. So, you'll notice in yeah. places in Thailand, mainly temples, but sometimes houses and hostels, etc., you are not allowed to wear any shoes. And that's because in the Buddhist uh, religion, they believe that feet are the dirtiest part of your body. So basically, they don't want you to taint anything. <laughs> So, including our hostel, we had to take off our shoes in order to come upstairs. I personally really like it. Brayden's afraid of getting athletes. <laughs> so, we just ditched our bags at our hostel because our dorm room isn't ready yet. So, we are now running back to the bus terminal that we were just at in hopes to catch the blue bus to the White Temple. It costs about 20 baht per person, so it's extremely affordable. And we're gonna spend probably a few hours exploring the White Temple, and yeah. I've wanted to go to this temple since I even knew what Thailand was. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Yeah. We made it! And look, it's only 20 baht. To bath. 20 bath. It is so beautiful. We've been dying to see this for years. We just didn't have time to make it last time we were in Thailand, so we're really happy to be here. And also, on that note, a lot of the information online makes it seem like this temple is in Chiang Mai, but it's actually over three hours away in Chiang Rai. They're not the same thing. Something that is absolutely mind-blowing about this place is a local artist has actually funded it completely on his own. He has already um, invested 40 million baht into this project and um, it's not finished. They're constantly adding to it and renovating and making updates. Not only did he use his own money, the thing that's really cool about this temple is most of the temples that you see around Thailand are super old. This one isn't old. This was only built in 1997. 1997. So, pretty amazing. So, based on the artist's design, as you walk around the temple complex, um, all of the design elements represent life, death, and rebirth. The first element right here underneath the bridge are hands reaching up to the heavens and they represent the sinful world.
I had to put on my sunglasses once I got outside because it is so blindingly white. It's so beautiful, but it hurts your eyes to stare at for too long. <laughs> this has to be the prettiest bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Yep, that's the bathroom. I guess I always just thought it was the one white temple, but there's like temple after temple after temple. There's a solid white one. There's another solid white one. There's a solid gold one. There's one being constructed right now that looks like a Disneyland ride made out of a cave. <laughs> there's another solid white one. It's really neat. <laughs> so it turns out the Disneyland ride is another crazy bathroom. <laughs> It's a cave toilet. <laughs> what the heck is that? 